Coming up this half hour of Good Morning Kentucky, police are investigating after human remains were found in Nelson County. They believe could be tied to a missing persons case from 2015. What police are saying about what they've found. And a weekend protest organized by an armed militia organization relatively peaceful, except for an accidental shooting. What police say happened? Good Morning Kentucky starts now. Good morning, Kentucky. I'm Erica Bivens. Thanks for joining us here at ABC 36 on this Monday morning. 6.30 on the clock now. Let's bring in meteorologist Justin Roth in for Alyssa today with the forecast details. I guess if you haven't been enjoying like the really hot 90s, you've got something to look forward to. Yeah, exactly. And if you're like me and you love the heat, yeah. then I guess you just kind of... Keep going with the flow, I guess, right? You have to deal. It's that trade-off, though, that we keep talking yeah. about, though, right? With the rain. Yeah, and I'm one of those people who never have an umbrella with me. Same, yeah. And <laughs> I just accept my fate. And so <laughs> if it's pouring down rain, you just walk through it. Carpe diem. Yeah, there you exactly. Go. <laughs> In the meantime, I might have to deal with that later on this afternoon, and so may you. So keep an eye on that forecast later on when I have that full seven day, but let's go ahead and first get a look at your temperatures outside right now. It's 69 degrees here in Lexington, 70 degrees in Richmond, 69 degrees in London. Wider perspective here, you already can see those warmer temperatures starting to filter their way in at 76 degrees in Louisville. Your Fort Bank Skyview camera overlooking Richmond and Madison County. Blue sky conditions, absolutely beautiful morning out for your Monday. It's going to be a beautiful day, too, at least to start off today. And you can see live HD radar, not a whole lot going on. We've got blue sky conditions everywhere. In the meantime, breakdown forecast here for you out the door this morning. Upper 80s to low 90s, mostly sunny skies. Afternoon storms, all the details coming up. All right, thank you, Justin. We continue to follow a developing story in Nelson County this morning. Police have found human remains they believe could be tied to a missing persons case in the area. The remains were found on the Nelson Washington County line. ABC 36's Alex Kane joins us now live in studio with more on the investigation. Alex, good morning. Good morning. The sheriff's office says it was notified about the possibility of remains there last Thursday. Deputies had to get assistance from the FBI evidence response team Friday to get to the area. According to our ABC affiliate WHAS 11 in Louisville, the remains were found near where Crystal Rogers was last seen alive five years ago. The mother of five from Bardstown went missing July 3, 2015. She was last seen at her boyfriend Brooke Hawk's family farm. Excuse me, Hook was named the main suspect in the case, but has never been charged. Rogers is connected to four murder cases from Barnstown, including her father's, shortly after her disappearance. That's why her case made national headlines and several national documentary series were focused on it. WHAS reports the Rogers family has been notified of the found remains. And the Nelson County Sheriff's Office says they were sent to the FBI lab in Quantico. The agency says there are several missing persons cases in that area, so it's not able to release any more until the lab results come back. In studio, Alex King, ABC 36 News. All right, thank you, Alex. In Lexington, police are looking for two people they say are wanted in connection to a murder. Take a good look at your screen here. Dante Burris and Derek Alina both have active warrants for murder and robbery in connection to the death of James White. White was killed last Thursday morning outside a Lexington motel on Newtown Court. Anyone with information about where the two might be should contact police. Also in Lexington, three people are okay after being shot early Sunday morning. Police say they went to Oak Street after a call of shots fired in the area around 515. They say they didn't find anyone, only some bullet holes in a vehicle. A little later, investigators say three adult men showed up at the hospital with non-life-threatening gunshot wounds. The men told police they were shot at Oak Street. Police say they do not have a suspect at this point. Louisville Metro Police says three people were accidentally shot during a weekend protest. This is video released from a surveillance camera. NFAC Black Militia Group hosted a demonstration calling for justice in the investigation into Breonna Taylor's death. The group and counter-protesters gathered Friday and Saturday in what police say was a mostly peaceful meetup. Louisville Metro Police addressed the protest over the past two nights, saying it's been a tense situation for everyone. I'm asking and in, in asking people 
to respect the legal process and the time that that takes, to choose peace and not violence, to continue to exercise your rights to protest, but do it lawfully. Let me be clear. We support everyone's right to a peacefully protest. We will protect that right. In all, five people were arrested. Police say the people who were accidentally shot are expected to be okay. Police say no damage was reported on Saturday. In coronavirus news now, Governor Andy Bashir is expected to announce new guidelines to the state's reopening plan. Last week, the governor said if cases didn't get under control, he would take new precautions like lowering restaurant capacity and closing bars. The new announcements come as the state continues to see a high reported case number. The state now has more than 27,000 cases. That's up 316 from Sunday's numbers, eight of which are children under the age of five. Traditionally, Sundays are low reporting days because less testing comes through those days. The state, though, saw several record highs last week, including almost 1,000 new cases reported last Sunday and more than 800 cases Saturday. Governor Bashir also announcing four new deaths on Sunday. 700 Kentuckians have now died from the virus. As of Friday, more than 7,000 people have also recovered. Today's announcement will be at 4 p.m. during the governor's coronavirus briefing. Governor Bashir has informally suggested all churches in the state roll back from holding in-person services. One faith leader in Lexington says he's been playing it safe all along. Consolidated Baptist Church pastor Richard Gaines says his members have not been inside that church since March. A congregation of mostly African Americans, Gaines says his members are particularly vulnerable. Gaines says fortunately none of his members have died from the virus, although one person was on a ventilator but has since recovered. He says it could have been a lot worse. Uh, when we get back to business as usual, the numbers go up. And so uh, I think the language is there, the, the, the handwriting is on the wall. Just follow the science and the decisions. It will direct us where to go. And that is not as complicated as we make it. Back in May, Tabernacle Baptist Church in Nicholasville won a lawsuit against the governor, arguing it was unconstitutional to limit mass gatherings. A contract with firm Ernst & Young to get through unemployment claims in the bluegrass has now been extended. The company will work another five weeks. It'll cost $4.4 million. The original contract paid more than $7 million. Coronavirus relief funds will pay for this contract as well. The company has already helped process more than 56,000 claims. Like we mentioned, Governor Bashir is expected to give some new reopening guidelines today during his briefing at 4. The governor is encouraging everyone to wear a mask, avoid crowds, and social distance. You can report any concerns you may have about businesses or others not taking the precautions mandated by the state by calling 1-833-KY-SAFER. And you can always stay up to date with the very latest on air and online at WTVQ.com or on the WTVQ mobile app. Time now, 6.38. Hawaii bracing for the possible impact of a hurricane. A look at what's expected and why this storm is so special to the state. Coming up a little later. And one Kentucky city is trying to help its residents keep the lights on. More on a program that's helping those who live in Versailles next on Good Morning Kentucky. But first, here's our first look at what's coming up today on Good Morning America.